Hello friends, this game is called Sweet 776. You guys ever see those TikToks where it's like, warning, scary alert. That's what this is. Like you love them when they have a discretionary warning at the start, that's good. Heavily aggressive with horror elements. I don't know what this means. Um, I don't know who this video is for, but I'm recording it anyway. It is to be completed in a single sitting. Does not contain a save. Estimated single play time is 50 minutes. We'll see about that. I know very little about this game, other than <clears throat> it has extremely good reviews. Marcy was found dead in her home. Dead. Oh, I already said dead. She hung herself. She left her only family alone, her seven-year-old son. Marcy was a famous architect, a very well-known architect. Unfortunately, she became too well-known, but for all the wrong reasons. It is my intention to prove that Sweet 776 exists. To that, I will photograph Marcy in motion. I will photograph her even if it kills me, no matter what. All that is left to do is to ring her bell. That's all it takes. Just ring the bell. legs or body. Good start. Good. All right, are we in a hotel? I guess I'll have to go to suite 776. Get some more paintings, bro. Suite 776, here we are. This looks like PT. What if I just leave? No, I won't leave. Okay, it's already a little weird. This hallway does not make sense in the sense that, uh, there's very clearly other apartments here, and the hallway seems to go all the way to the next one. But alright, cool. Just roll with it. I'm sure it's totally fine. Also, okay, second problem. We came up an elevator. We're presumably on floor number seven. There's grass. What the fuck? And trees. Something is very E to read note. Reddit online. I survived Sweet 776. It is real. It all appeared real, but on, but that could not be possible. I was on the 12th floor, yet looking through the windows displayed the first floor. There are other, there are over six other suites on this floor, yet Sweet 776 appeared larger with impossible proportions. There was an, even an upper and a lower level of the suite. It made absolutely no sense whatsoever. And how did I get out? Why am I the only one? I have no clue. I came to Suite 776 with the intention of recording my journey. I set up cameras, but all footage was lost. Alright. Oops. Here we go. My bad. Okay, put it away. Thank you. Ten. Why does it say ten? God, my computer is revving up in the background. I'm so sorry if you can hear that. It's kind of funny. Who 
Which said this game is scary. It's just squeak squawking around a fucking apartment. That doesn't make any sense. It's fine. Oh, wait. I wasn't supposed to do that. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Can I run? No. I rung the bell. I'm leaving. Maybe I should try ringing the bell again. No, I did it. I already rang the bell. I rang the bell. Alright, GG. We did it. This has been Sweet 776, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye! Chief Ending 2. Ending 2. Okay. Wait, sometimes it is best to leave myths behind. I didn't get the rest. No matter how badly I want to accept that, I can't. I just have so many questions with no answer. There's a way to save my mother. I know there is, but what could it be? <clears throat> what? What is all this story? There has to be a pattern of some sort, a sequence of some sort that must be commenced. But what? What could that sequence be? I will have to come back one day and find out. Why don't we just go back right the fuck now? Finn, no, I don't think so. I say when we're done. Yeah, I think we did it. Um, need to view credits, yeah. Can I just start over? Uh, skip, skip. <sighs> Get me out. Get me out. Escape. We're back. <clears throat> I've cut ahead. And now we will be actually exploring Suite 776. Excuse my computer. It's revving up again. Alright, yeah, yeah. So we're on the seventh floor. We can see the ground. It's weird. That's allegedly the first floor. It's weird that it would show that. Whatever. Let's read the footnote. Pause if you want. I already read it. We got a number 10. We got a locked drawer. A locked door. And this time we're going to slam that bell. We're going to slam the bell until someone squeaks squonks over here and kills us. And that's going to be the game. Bell, bell. Let me ring it again. Okay, I can't. I'm sure nothing is going to be up there. Maybe I should ring the bell again. Say it. Thank you. Okay, from here on out, I don't know what happens. I have no controls other than walk. Look.
all this uh, wind I'm hearing in this apartment. Let's ring it a third time. No, I can't. the door locked now. Of course. Alright. You know, I haven't played a scary game in a while. I've watched a lot of people play scary games, but let me tell you, it's, there's something very different when you're playing it yourself. When you're watching someone play it, you're there with the person. But when I'm playing it, I'm totally by myself, man. This is actually like, oh, so doors closed. Oh, it's so scary. Bro, are you for real? Turning off my lights. Oh, God, I, I hate it. She's behind the walls, or she's in the walls. The fuck that is. Oh, she's out of here. Fuck. You f fucking game. The whole thing is just so confusing. Somehow the doors connect. The small space appeared large, and the windows displayed this warm summer day. Perhaps she was a genius, and just nobody realized it. Sweet 776. Oh, cool. Just been knocked out. A strange house. No big deal. Um, one second. I am writing down the number 10 before I forget. Because I'm sure that's going to come up. I depress inventory. Oh, God, it's dark. The first page of my notebook is missing. Something actually tore it out. I awoke in Suite 776, or so I think I did. I feel as though I have been fully locked in. It actually feels like an illusion, like it's not real. Okay. How did I do night vision? Oh. Nope. One second. Night vision. Okay, 
it's none of these buttons. We just made it. Oh, we just click. Okay, so mouse button. We got night vision. Door is locked. Okay. Left mouse button is right. Click. Pictures. Wait. Pictures right click. Cool. I don't know when all those got boarded up. What's that? That's a key. Give me it. Cool. Playing Outlast now. Should we smash it? something. <laughs> Wasn't this light like fucking massive? How did it knock me out? That's so weird. Okay, we have a key. Like, old key with inscription, office. You're telling me I have to actually pick out my key? Shut up. Oh my god, fan. Nobody likes you. Was not locked. Ring the bell again. Alright. Just gotta find it, sir. Sir, writing on the wall. Very sorry. I will not let you down. Gonna go read this note next to the farty fan. Email results printed copy. Marcy does not appear to be in the proper state of mind. Several tests were conducted, testing her reactions to stressful environmental conditions. Reactions Marcy displayed included twitching, mumbling, redness, excessive laughter. Marcy decided to end the session early, unfortunately. I advise you to consult Marcy to return for further assessment. Medication may be required, as currently, the way I see it, Marcy may endanger herself or others. Would you mind forwarding over the contacts of Marcy's family, perhaps her son? Thank you, Dr. Stand. All right, is Marcy is our mom, is what I'm assuming, and she's the architect that should design this mad, crazy building. That's a window. Was that a window? Oh, it's boarded up on this side, but it's a see-through window on this side, which means somebody could be looking through. That's not creepy in the least. What do you mean the door is locked? Open. Why would you let me come up here if the door is just letting me be locked? Can I like move the clock? Guess we're going back this way. Nothing else to do. I'm sure, it's fine. I don't know. Do I want to ring the bell? I guess I have nothing else to do. Oh, it is very dark. Nah, Chief, this this ain't it. One, 
two, three. Ready, four. Three, B, B. <laughs> Fuck you. You're not scary, game. You're not scary. Oh, I have a good zombie. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. That's a true boomer reference. Okay, so the bell got rung. Now what? You suddenly unlocked? I'm supposed to take a picture of her. Sure, if all it is is a fucking zombie, let's go. I fist fight zombies in other video games, so she got. That's fucking creepy. Let's see, it says ring once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven times. Maybe I have to. No, it's a lot more times. Okay. Ring, ring. Alright, ring, ring. We're just gonna do it. in a panic where the door opens like is something coming out no it's just the door opening hello uh, can I look at it nope up close she looks torn unaware of her surroundings is she fully conscious I've always read tales when I was younger on demonic possession you are aware of everything, even as your own blood begins flowing from your eye, flooding your eyes. You just couldn't move a muscle, but he could. Could Marcy be possessed? Okay, who keeps a fucking fridge lock? On their who keeps a fridge lock? Just in general, who has a lock on their fridge? I guess people with children are probably laughing. Oh, we do. Interview response number one. Interviewer, you mentioned that Marcy had a bell on her desk at the office. Would you mind repeating what you told me prior to this interview? Coworker, well, every time she would read something online about herself or her work that she didn't agree with, she would ring the bell. That bell rang continuously, especially after she finished the construction of her new home. Her masterpiece, as she called it. She was an angry person, wasn't she? Pin. Okay, that's not going to be useful at all. Oh. Okay. Door isn't locked, but I can't open it. Alright. Door is locked. So now I have a hairpin. What the f What the flip am I supposed to do with that? Oh, I'm going to be unlocked. This story. There we go. Okay, cool. I have a screwdriver. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? Dead. Ring it again. R remind me of my failures. Ah, so we were just irritating the shit out of her. I will grab you from behind. Watch me. Okay. Do it. Bing. Yeah, I'm about to. What are you going to do about it? Grab me from behind. What if I like that? <laughs> what if I put my back to the bell? Ugh. You bitch. 
shit out of you, mannequin. I'm upstairs. Okay. Oh. I love this. This is great. Oh my god, that fucking just literally sent a shiver down my back. I'm gonna fuck out of here. Jesus, let me- can I go in here? No. What do you want me to do? Fuck. You... Bitch. Alright, I can see how this apartment would be a nightmare to have a serial killer loose in because uh, they could just run loop to loop around you and get behind you and you'd never know where they're gonna come from. And now I just think she's gonna come up behind me and fucking kill me. Come upstairs, alright? She's been so kind as to open the door. Do not enter. What if I do? expected to open. Oh no, I opened two doors. Oh, fuck. I hate it. There's too many places I could... What are you? Don't I have a hairpin that I can reach it with? Apparently not. Mom's kind of full of herself, isn't she? Look at all these fucking trophies. 6147. Let's write that down. We have 10 and 6147. I don't think I want to look at these cameras. Oh my fucking Jesus Christ. What in the f fuck? I very strongly dislike it. Get, please leave. Can I leave? Can I leave? What button leaves? Um. Okay, I'm stuck. I'm pressing all the buttons. Oh no, oh no. Nah, man. You gotta let me out. Let me out. How do I get out? Get me out. Is this where she grabs me from behind? I actually can't leave. What the fuck? Is this game broken? Am I just dead? Because I can't move now? Two, information. Wazdi. E to do something. I already tried that. What just Oh no, that's the room we're in, man. I'd like to leave. This she's gonna grab me from behind. Like Scoob, we're totally fucked, man. That was intentional. 
Now I'm just supposed to just walk out here and die. Very nice. Um, cool, I got a photo, guys. Uh, it's been nice knowing you. Goodbye. Bitch. Yeah, it's because you're scared. That mannequin just got me. I thought it was her again. You need to pick up a ladder. Oh, it is mine now. Where is it? It's gone. Excuse me, sir. There's a picture in your face. Alright, we wrote down 6147. Nope. 6147. Bolt cutters aren't playing Resident Evil. Yes. Okay, I have a hook so I can go upstairs to the bathroom. Get out of my fucking ladder. Long string. Oh. Okay, that should get me whatever's in here. Picked up a golden key. It was locked, that was golden. Maybe you? Yep. Interview number 12, Marcy. Interviewer, many have found that you constantly purchase those clothing mannequins. What are the mannequins for? Well, you know, I figured it would be interesting to have a headcount of those who opposed me. You know, wake up in the morning, look at their physical representation straight in the face. I would just scream at them to back off, but then they just stand there looking at me. It drives me crazy. Uh, right. This interview doesn't know how to... Show dominance, apparently. Bar. I've located bar. Bar. Okay, cool. Ring it again, remind me of my failures. Ring, 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 ring. Hello. That is definitely her. See you moving. Am I supposed to electrocute her? Uh, did fucking Mickey Mouse write this note? One, ring bell. Two, microwave. Three, electrocution. Uh, orb. Three gold bars. Something. Play ping pong. Hang yourself. Okay. Step one, ring bell. Step two, use microwave. Step three, kill yourself. Alright. Um, excuse me, ma'am. 
Oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Ugh. I don't think I want to do that. I think you do. Okay, I guess we don't. What? Is this a painting? What is this? What did we get? We got a note. The note said, put the bar in the thing. What did the note say again? Number one, ring the bell. Number two, use the microwave. Bro, what is that supposed to mean? Go three, kill yourself. All right. Follow these three tips to become a pro YouTuber. Number one, collect the three gold bars. Number two, use a microwave. Number three, kill yourself. edgy um that looked like a kitchen wait maybe it's a radio I don't know I still don't know what that 10 was for oh ring the bell I need to ring the bell microwave or maybe this thing well who rang the bell let's see what's different Some more gold bars. Can do that. Oh. Oh shit, I have bolt cutters. Do not enter. We're so locked up, thank god. Go look at our handy dandy note once more. Can we not take it with us? She's still there. I don't know what that is supposed to be. Oh. I don't know. Oh my god, you bitch! God damn it. That's gonna be my last words. Oh my god, you bitch.
game's not over. Thought I just died. Dead. Die. 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 Just been playing too much Overwatch, you guys. Don't you do it? Okay. So that's where we're gonna go. I'm gonna wait for our night vision to charge up a bit. Don't, what do you mean? Use the key. Oh, B basement. Got it. This is literally outlast. Someone give this woman an inhaler. Someone just blew up the toilet. <laughs> Must be a truck stop that bathroom around here. Obama, very cool. You know, I've never been in a murder basement, but this looks an awful lot like a murder basement. What's up, guys? Back here with another episode of Maze Runner, where something is definitely not going to chase me through this maze. If you catch me in this maze, I'll pay you one million dollars. This will be the next video. Please don't let something chase me through this fucking maze. I am completely lost already. And I don't pay attention. Oh, we're exactly where we need to be. Very good. Oh, it's somehow worse. Great. Um... Did y'all just see that bitch? Did y'all just see this bitch through the wall? Because I think I just saw her. Am I crazy? Rewind the footage. I can't rewind the footage because I'm not editing this fucking video. E, I've seen this device. Ah, yeah, it's C4 actually.
Well, turn the fucking lights back on, man. Got a picture of you, bitch. That's what I'm here for. I don't know, I got another picture of you. A Krober? Oh, even better. Axe. What you gonna do now when I equip Axe? This is now Doom 2. <laughs> I am hunting her. Uh, excuse me, I have axe. Let's see. Wooden planks are nothing. This is not a long hallway we're gonna chase me, right? It's definitely not what happens in long hallways in video games. Definitely not ones that say die at the end. Right. <laughs> Bitch, I got a picture. Ha. Couple clicks achievement. Five pictures, baby. Let me slam this bell. Remind you of your failures again. My guess is our mother killed herself, and this is the room where she killed herself. We're about to see it. Oh. Okay, I didn't expect to be right. I don't want to go in here. Nah, man. My name is Joseph Shippen. I write this journal just in case something goes wrong. I want you to know that I was here and probably died here. I came to investigate Suite 776. I did this because Marcy Shippen is my mother. I, her only son, Joseph Shippen, 27 years old at the time of this note, wanted to meet her for the first time. Many claim Suite 776 is not real. Apparently others were given permission to enter the suite with no luck in triggering the cycle. Or should I say, with luck, they did not trigger the cycle. I stand before the bell this very moment, and I'm about to ring it. The funny thing is, I get this feeling that I shouldn't ring it. I feel like I rang it before, and I was sent right back to try again. Either way, I'm going to ring it, I think, and I will document what I see, and hopefully snap a few pictures. Um. Ah, uh, can the note go away? There's a woman standing in front of me. She's no longer hanging. Where is she? She is. Oh my god. It's so fucking creepy. Get the fuck out of here. Oh no. She's moving. Come give your son a kissy wissy. Walk away. Oh, don't give me the choice. Oh, no. 
it gives me the choice to walk away or to ring it. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. In this game, that is our mother. She killed herself, and every time we ring the bell, we piss off her ghost. She, we are clearly at her mercy if we ring the bell. We're her son, and she doesn't want to kill us. But every time we ring this bell, we remind her of her failures and everything she hated in her life. But also, we're trying to make interesting content. What happens if we walk away, get in the elevator, and it's like, plays the violin, it's like, your mother is gone. And you experienced it, and all of your pictures are gone. Or... We can make interesting content. <laughs> oh no. We're gonna just get our fucking neck snapped. That's what's gonna happen. She's just gonna appear and s snap our fucking necks. Oh. Uh. You know, it's strange. I feel like I've done this before. I feel like I've been through this all, seen all of this many, many times. It's as though I've made a mistake. I've done something wrong. And because of that mistake, I am brought back to where it all began. Perhaps there is a way to save my mother, to end this curse, to end it all. Finn. <sighs> Made it. Oh, you know what? I didn't get the gold bars. I bet that's the secret ending. I bet that was the secret ending. I just had to get the bars. Anyways, we've already seen the credits. I won't make you guys watch it again. Uh, this game is interesting. Thanks for watching. I hope it scared you the same way it scared me. Which is fucking... I had exactly three or four spine tingles and two good jump scares. So, see you guys in the next video. Peace.